If you live stream into your Facebook groups from third party applications such as Ecamm Live, OBS, StreamYard and Restream, you may have seen a notification recently that is letting everybody know from Meta that they are removing this third party integration and API connectivity. So that means you will no longer be able to schedule your live streams directly from these applications as you did before. And also comments natively coming into these third party services will no longer be supported also. But it doesn't mean that you can't still stream from these streaming software applications and services. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up Ecamm Live to still stream into your Facebook groups. It just means that there are a few more hurdles to go through and a little bit more manual configuration in order to do that. So I'm gonna show you how to schedule your stream in Facebook, how to connect that via Ecamm Live. And finally, I'll show you how to use a third party application to get your comments populated in your Ecamm Live production. So here I am in Facebook. This is my small creator cafe group. I've just set this up to demonstrate how we can stream from Ecamm to the group, but we have to use a different method than we previously used. As I've mentioned, the automatic scheduling and creation of Facebook live streams from Ecamm is going to be removed on the 22nd of April. And Facebook is removing this for every service, whether it be OBS, StreamYard, whatever it might be. Uh, Ecamm is also included in that. So for the purposes of this demo, I'm actually going to show you how you can actually still stream from Ecamm, but using a different method to your Facebook group. So first off, we're going to have to now create our live events manually using the Facebook application or web page. So let's create an event. We're going to call it um, Small Creator Cafe Test Stream. Now, we're going to just schedule an event here. I'm going to schedule for in the future. It doesn't matter. You just have to remember when your event is going to go live. But for the purposes of this, we're just going to select a fictitious event. Let's create a virtual event in here. And we're going to select Facebook Live because this is the method we're going to be using. Let's create the event. Once it's created that event on the scheduled time and date, we need to copy a couple of parameters from that created event to be able to stream from Ecamm to the Facebook event. So we've done that. Let's cancel these invitations. Down here at the bottom, you can see I've got my test stream. Let's set up the live video. And these, this is where you're going to have to copy a couple of parameters. First off, it's going to ask you, what is the source of your live stream going to be? Is it going to be your webcam that's already plugged into your computer or are we going to use some streaming software? Well, yes, we're going to use streaming software because we're going to use Ecamm. Now, there are a couple of parameters in order for us to do that. It says here that set up your streaming software. So we're going to need two things. First off, we're going to need something called a stream key. That's going to allow Ecamm to post its live stream directly to the group. And then we're going to need something called the server URL, which is telling Ecamm, well, how do you find this particular Facebook server? And that is actually under the advanced settings. So there's a couple of things to note here. One of them is this persistent stream key. And all that means is if you were to create multiple events, if you didn't have this enabled, it would create a new stream key, which is this one up here, every time you created an event. We don't want to do that because that's a lot of effort and we would have to put in this new stream key into Ecamm every time we'd want to go live. So I'm going to leave this set to persistent stream key. So it's going to be the same stream key every time an event is created. And the server URL is also going to be persistent because that is the destination that Ecamm uses to post to the Facebook live stream. So we need to copy both of those. So we just copy them, put them into a notepad, whatever you want to use. And I'll copy the server URL as well. And we'll just paste that into a notepad. Once that is done, come down to the bottom, make sure everything is set as we've just mentioned, and then hit the save changes. 
And that's all you have to do right now. We now need to go into Ecamm and set up those server parameters, the stream key and the server URL into our new destination, which is called RTMP. Let's do that right now. So we're now in Ecamm Live, but this will be the same for OBS or StreamYard. You're basically adding the Facebook credentials we've just saved from our scheduled live stream and adding an RTMP destination source. So in Ecamm, we just need to press command comma. That will bring up the destinations. Here we have the list of destinations already in Ecamm, but we're going to create a new one. So we click on new and then we want to select this one here, which is destination RTMP with stream key. So click on this and it's going to ask you for a couple of parameters. Let's give it a name. Facebook Small Creator Cafe test. Now the server URL is the one that we got from our original credentials. So let's just grab that copy, paste it in. And then because we're using the persistent stream key, we're just going to click this checkbox here and paste in our stream key that we got from our Facebook Live created event. And because it's persistent, we shouldn't have to change this each time we create an event now in Facebook. Let's click add. And now we have the destination set up for streaming to Facebook Live. Let's now take a look at what that looks like in terms of how we then initiate that live stream from Ecamm because there are still a couple of little steps you have to go through in order for that to work. So we've added the RTMP destination into Ecamm Live, which is our Facebook group's live stream credentials, the server and stream key. So now let's go into setting up and starting our live stream. So imagine you're ready to go with your live stream. You've scheduled it for a particular date and time. You'll come back now into Facebook. There are a couple of ways of getting to the same view as there always are in Facebook. Let's go back to set up live video. And this is our event that we created. You can see it's the same name that I had before. We make sure we click on streaming software. And let's go down to the advanced settings and make sure that the persistent stream key is still set because that's going to use the key that we've added into Ecamm Live. And if you've ever worked with Instagram, it's a similar process. You first have to initiate your live stream from Ecamm. The live stream will populate down here in this video box. But until you press the go live now button, you won't be live on Facebook. So that's why it's a bit more manual. And this is a shame because obviously Meta removing the API integration with the ability to automatically schedule and start and stop streams. It just makes things a little bit more complicated, but that's not to say, as I'm showing you right now, that you can't do it. It's just a couple of extra steps. So let's go into Ecamm. Let's click on new. And as I've just mentioned, this schedule start time no longer is functioning. So all you can do is go live now. But as I said, you're ready to go. It's your scheduled stream. So let's hit the go live now button. That's going to go and talk to the server on Facebook with the key. And you can see here that I'm actually running. Um, it'll just take a few minutes to buffer and so on. Make sure that your streaming resolution and so on complies with Facebook. And I'm ready to go. So now if you're happy and ready to go with your stream, you just click go live now. Once you hit go live, you will actually be live. As it says, are you sure you want to go live? Boom, there you go. So I haven't added a title to mine, but now it can show you that the live stream is running. I got a message there just basically saying that it's a high resolution video. In this particular case, it's just for testing. So you can see I've got my stream metrics and everything is running. So that's basically it. I'm live now to my Facebook group using Ecamm. The next thing to think about is with the integration being removed, you now can't get comments coming in to Ecamm as you did before. So now you have to use a third party tool to do that. So if you want comments coming from your Facebook group live stream and being populated in Ecamm, you're now going to have to use a third party product called Social Stream Ninja. And now I'm going to show you how to do that. 
So as I mentioned, you're not going to be able to get your comments natively published in Ecamm anymore or any third party streaming software for that matter, thanks to Meta for removing that as well. So you only really have one option at the moment, and that is to download an extension for your Chrome browser called Social Stream Ninja. And this is an application that will grab any comments from a browser-based service such as Facebook Live and enable you then to put them in Ecamm in this particular case as a web widget. And there are some things you have to go through in order to get that installed. First off, click on the description in the link below to the Social Stream Ninja plugin. It's a small zip file. Once you've got that file, unzip it and it will just present itself as a folder. Then you need to go to your Chrome browser and put in chrome colon forward slash forward slash extensions. This is going to bring up the list of extensions that you have currently installed on your Chrome browser. And we're going to have to drag the folder of the Social Stream Ninja plugin into this. But before you do, take note on the right hand side that there will be a developer toggle switch. You need to click on this switch, which will allow you to easily install the Chrome extension. I'm going to grab the folder now and drag that into my Chrome browser like this, drop it in, and now you'll see that the Social Stream Ninja plugin has been installed. Just ignore the errors, it doesn't really matter, it works perfectly fine. So once that has been installed, you can restart your Chrome browser, and now I'll take you through the next steps in order to get these comments from your Facebook Live stream into Ecamm Live. So we've installed the Social Stream Ninja plugin into Chrome. This is a really customizable little extension and there are many videos online on YouTube that will help you with that. The purpose of this video is to simply show you how to get your chat messages from your Facebook Live stream into Ecamm Live as a web widget overlay. So let's go into the Chrome browser. I've just got my page up here where I'm going to be streaming to in a second just to show you. If we click on this extension at the top here, it may not be active, so you want to toggle this button and make it go from red to green. And as you can see, there's a ton of different sort of customizable layouts and options for you. As I mentioned, you can go and search on YouTube on how to do that. But I need to draw your attention to two URLs that you'll need to um, use as part of this extension. The first one is something called the streaming chat dockable overlay. And this is just simply a list of comments when they come in, similar to the uh, comments and reactions panel that you would see in Ecamm. All the comments from your Facebook live stream will populate in here. And once you see the one that you want to highlight, you'll simply click on it. And I'll show you how to do this in a second. And then that will appear in your Ecamm live stream. How you get these from this Chrome browser into Ecamm is we're going to use something called a web widget. And the web widget URL you need to use is the second URL that you see in your Social Stream Ninja Chrome extension. So the first one is the dockable that we've just shown you where all the chat messages will come in. The second one is something called the featured chat overlay. And this is the URL you're going to paste into Ecamm Live as your web widget. And this is where the messages will actually appear. So let's right click on that and do copy link address. And now we're going to head over to Ecamm and add this as a web widget. And I'll show you how it all hangs together once you've gone live on Facebook. So here I am in Ecamm Live. And as you saw previously, I copied the featured chat overlay URL from our browser extension. Let's just click on that again. I'll show you where it is. So featured chat overlay, right click, copy link address. And then we're going to create a web widget in Ecamm so we can actually see the chat message as it comes in. So let's click on the web widget here. We'll just click on web widget down there and we'll give it a name. We'll call it um, chat messages. And then we'll paste in this URL. And this is unique to your browser, unique to the plugin for you. Let's keep everything running here and just set it to keep running, which will mean it will always populate and add web widget overlay. So it's just sitting here. I'm just going to populate it and pop it down here at the bottom, maybe make it a little bit wider. You'll see in a second when the chat messages come in. Now, the great thing about this extension is that it's got a little 
uh, test trigger chat message down here at the bottom. So if you remember, I clicked on this extension here and I clicked on this URL, which is this streaming chat dockable messages. So this is where all your messages is going to come in. I'm just going to drag this out the way and make this a bit smaller. This would be the equivalent, as I mentioned, to your comments and reactions window that you would have in Ecamm. So this is where all your chat messages are going to come in. And let's just click on this and let's trigger a test message for now. If we click on this test message, you'll see that it pops in here. And this is where all your Facebook messages would populate once you've gone live. And then you select the message in this window when you want it to pop up in Ecamm. If I click on this message now, you will see here is the message that's popped up in Ecamm Live. So this is a great way of getting your messages from any application into Ecamm if you don't have third party integration because Meta have removed it. So all your Facebook messages will populate in here and you'll click on them again to get rid of them. You can also set this up just like you can or could in Ecamm where the messages will disappear after 15 seconds or so on. So it's a great way of getting the messages in. Now let's go live into my Facebook test group stream and I'll just do some comments hopefully and it'll let me test those. They should populate in here and we will then just add them to Ecamm Live as I'm doing right now. So let's take a look at that. So you can see I am live on Facebook into my group. I'm streaming from Ecamm into the Facebook group. And now we want to make sure that the comments that people may say in our Facebook chat are going to be populated into our plugin that we've just installed. So I'm just going to post a little comment and say hello. This is a test stream. Once that message is posted, it should appear here in my social stream ninja list. And you can see it does, which is great. I click on this and that message now pops up in Ecamm. Now, obviously it's this web widget overlay. You can move it, resize it, put it wherever you want. I'm just going to populate it there. Uh, and just a couple of things to be aware of. So you need to make sure that your Facebook Live stream is in this format, i.e. you can see the chat messages come in. Because Social Stream Ninja is a browser-based extension, it relies on having the feed being seen in Chrome. So once you've got this set up like that, the messages will come in no problem. You can hide the messages again. And because it's a chat overlay from a web widget, you can place it anywhere you want in Ecamm. So hopefully that explains how you can get your chat messages from Facebook Live groups into Ecamm using the Social Stream Ninja third party plugin. And to terminate your stream, you can still do this from Ecamm by clicking the finish button at the bottom because if you remember we set up originally that the streaming software would stop the stream automatically you can do that but it is just worth checking as well on the Facebook browser that you're not still live for whatever reason so if I hit the finish button now the stream will end on Facebook and hopefully that will all be completed so as you can see it's ended the stream on Facebook just double check by all means on your Facebook group to make sure that it has actually ended but that integration is still working well with Ecamm. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope this video helps you some way into still using Facebook Live groups with Ecamm Live and getting your live streams populated over there. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. Happy streaming and thanks for watching the video.